Hello, it's Bevan Bird here with with Celia. Hi. <laughs> All right. Um, you're you're an au pair, au pair, right? Like taking care of the children. Yeah. So I I'm basically a babysitter, and I get to stay with the family, and they feed me, and it's great. And How do you like this place? I think it's incredible. I can't believe people actually live here. <laughs> oh yeah. It's paradise, isn't it? Yeah. It's amazing. So so you're from England, right? Yeah. I'm from England. Uh, I live in the countryside. And so I was at school doing A levels. I was in year 12. I'm 17. And I realized that they really weren't for me. And so I decided to drop out. And so I ended up here. My plan was to. Oh yeah. How did you How did you get connected with the family? Because it's it's um, the Chakmul family, right? The owners of Chakmul. Yeah. So Amelia is my next door neighbor's best friend's niece, which is kind of complicated. I didn't know who she was before I came, but I knew I wanted to come abroad to learn Spanish and volunteer. And so any website I looked on either cost heck of a lot of money or they well, you said had to be 18 right oh, I had to so be it was like three thousand dollars or 18 or something yeah okay so I was like oh, no how am I gonna do it and so we were just talking to my neighbor and she was like yeah I know a, I know a family in Mexico I'll send her an email and so you, see connections are everything right it's who you know and relationships and yeah. also you gotta you gotta not think that things are difficult realize what if it was easy and uh, and just talk to people like I did this morning. Like I was up there at the volcano after the video. Uh -huh. I was coming back, and then there was this couple. They were from New Zealand, but I didn't know where they're from. Mm -hmm. And uh, they actually had a binoculars, and they're looking overlooking the bay. And it's just a beautiful view. It's a good place to take photos from. Uh -huh. And then and I started talking with them, and then like learning about them and their family and everything. And and it's just very interesting. But then then you actually learn things that will help you in your own life too. Like that happened for me too yeah. today. Yeah, I feel like, so we sent a few emails like back and forth and she was like, yeah, come next week. We've got a music festival here. Like you should come help out at that. I was like, it will happen so quickly. But I was like, I don't want to spend this year of school that I have not doing anything. You just talk to people and you never know where you can end up. And I'm learning so much by being here. Like, every, all my friends are doing A-levels at school, which are great. It's going to really help them in life. But I don't... So, so the A-levels are tests when you're ending um, post-secondary, like grade 12 and grade 13, yeah. and getting ready for um, uh, university? Yeah, so okay. they're the exams that get you to university, which I thought I was going to do. I thought, yeah, I want to go to university because it's great. Uh, but um, I realised... I if I carried on with these exams like if you do something you don't enjoy you're not going to succeed in it and I was like I don't want to waste these two years and fail because I'm really not enjoying it mm -hmm. and I don't want to conform to this idea that university is the only path to success because mm -hmm. it's not there's yeah. so many have paths you, you can take. At a lot of, have you looked at a lot of uh, success stories and then looked at their background yeah. like Henry Ford dropped out uh, Bill Gates dropped out uh, yeah. Steve Jobs, I don't know. Yeah. Right? Do you look at some of these stories? Um, I've heard about them and it just makes you think, like, why can't that be me? <laughs> it can be. If, if they can do it, you can do it. Yeah. Um, and also, I don't want to feel like I have to have my entire life planned out. People my age think that they need to know what they're going to be doing when they're 40 or something. Like, how the yeah. hell are you supposed to know? Yeah. I'm going to take I it. Agree. I totally agree with that. Like, experiment. Uh, actually, Mark Cuban, he's a billionaire. In a, in a conversation he had with Ty Lopez, uh, he said, find something you love to do, get great at it, and sell it. Yeah, definitely. And just take... Gracias one step at a time make sure every yeah. decision you make is going to be a decision that's going to make you happy and yeah. then very good. it's gonna work out absolutely thank you very much wise words <laughs> thank, thank you for your time <laughs> thank you <laughs>